amplitude. So remember, amplitude is directly tied to the number of motor units recruited, and the number of motor units recruited is directly tied to the degree of muscle contraction. So let's say, for example, we have recruited one motor unit to move that big, heavy stone table. So one motor unit can't do it, so he's confused, so he asks his friend, what do I do? So we go up to two milliamps, recruit the second motor unit, and he goes, I got an idea. We need more people. Let's recruit some more motor units. So we go up to three milliamps, recruiting a third motor unit, but he looks at it because there's no way the three of us can move this by ourselves. Let me get another friend. So we go up to four milliamps. That's a fourth motor unit, still not quite enough. He looks at us like there's just no way. We can't do it. Let's recruit a fifth motor unit, representing five milliamps, still not quite enough, although it does seem to be getting a little easier, but we still need more. So we recruit a sixth motor unit, representing six milliamps, but still not enough. Now we recruit another person, seven, seven milliamps, seven motor units, just not quite there, but there we go, just eight milliamps, the eighth motor unit, and it's the perfect number to move the table. So we want just the perfect number to move the table smoothly, easily, and efficiently. Any less is not enough, any more is not necessary. Keep the amplitude as low as possible to achieve the desired effects. And the desired effects is to move the muscles. Got it? Great. Now, let's move on.